Hello and welcome to another Reason 6 tutorial. This is going to be a quick one, and this is just a little trick I use for my trance to give it a nice atmospheric and spacey effect. You can start out with almost any sound you want. I'm just going to load any preset. In this case, maybe a pad or a lead sound. It doesn't matter as long as it's uh, something you can hold in and sustain. It's not quite what I wanted. Now, oh, here we go. This will work fine. Now, what you want to do is flip it around back here. You have your sounds going out to the combinator. Just equip a alligator filter gate. and you have a little bit of a sound here. Now, what you want to do is give this a nice spacey effect, so what I usually do is just choose a random preset here. That'll work. And then you adjust these filters however you like, and this is the high pass, band pass, and low pass LFO mount, which is controlled by your LFO down here. I like to mix these up a little bit and maybe leave the low alone. And now I'm going to customize these sounds a little bit. Put a little bit of phase around here, which is control down here. And add a little bit of delay, which is also controlled down here. Now I'll bring in a little bit of band pass. And then do the same. Just however you like, whatever is attuned to your taste. And now to give it a nice atmospheric -y and almost psychedelic effect, we're going to change the amp envelope down here and take the attack all the way down, bring the decay down, so that you almost have like a uh, punchy effect, and perhaps give it a little release. You can also adjust the filter envelope. I like to bring the attack down, leave the decay there, and leave the release. So you have a nice effect that will, you know, bounce around and fill up some space. And I also like to take a little bit of echo on there, extra. Put some diffusion on it. Just to filter to your liking. and then bring the dry wet down to mix the uh, raw sound from the alligator and the process sound from the echo. Sounds good. And lastly, we are going to add some reverb. And once again, this is completely down to your tastes.
and there you have it. Some instant atmosphere and sound, and this will definitely change depending on the bass instrument you have. For instance, I have a bright sounding pad here, and if I was to change it to a different instrument, it would say, like for instance, a darker instrument or darker sound, it would give it a complete different sound. So, I hope this was useful for you. If you have any requests for any other tutorials, feel free to send me a message or post a comment on the video. And thank you for watching.